Like so many teachers, Rebecca Rogers felt it was her calling. I just have this vivid memory sitting in my fifth grade math class, just thinking, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. The rest of her life lasted just a few years. Rebecca left teaching during the pandemic, and she's not alone. I think a very common thread that I've seen a lot of educators posting is them coming to the realization that teaching has been so crazy lately over the last few years that they don't recognize themselves. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the U.S. Census, there were 380,000 open teaching jobs this past spring, the highest in more than a decade. Nearly half of all schools had teacher openings, and Teach for America, the very successful teacher recruitment and retention program begun during the first President Bush's administration, now has a third of the graduates it had just 10 years ago. How is recruitment of future teachers today? It's difficult. How dire would you say it is? I believe it is very dire. But that's a big part of Jacqueline Dozier's job as a professor at UNC Greensboro, which has been turning out teachers for 130 years and find it graduates about a third of what it calls student teams than it did when Dozier started. There was a time when we would have four to five teams and we would have to turn a good 25 to, 25, uh, 25 to 50 students away from teacher preparation because we didn't have enough faculty to teach them. Now we had maybe two teams, maybe stretched into three. The number one reason young teachers side is the reason they leave is what they see as low pay. You know, any of my friends that are both teachers, they can't afford to have kids. I'm really fortunate that I have my husband who's an attorney, but if he wasn't an attorney, we wouldn't be able to afford to have kids. But like most teachers, Roger says it's far more than just a money issue. You now have kids who haven't been in a real social setting in school in so long, they don't know how to act. You know, teachers are being beat up. Teachers are being stolen from. Teachers are being sexually assaulted. And then there are cases like Uvalde, where teachers and the students they've dedicated themselves to die in large numbers. So how do we solve this? Putting the career field back on a pedestal, the pedestal it should have stayed on. We're not going to be able to get teachers if we don't fix this. There's an entire corner of TikTok called Teacher Quit Talk, just of teachers around the world supporting other teachers who have finally had enough and are getting out. Despite that, and the fact that soon to be retiring baby boomers make up nearly half of the teaching workforce, Jacqueline Dozier isn't letting it get her down. Are you optimistic? I am. That's because I love the state of North Carolina, <laughs> though. And the teaching profession. And the teaching profession, yes, you know. Bob Buckley. It works. Public school works. Fox 8 News.